Pharaoh Scan Clan, and Pharaoh Zone 2D. Importing to Pharaoh Zone 2D and working with the scan. In this video, you will see how to import an SPL file into Pharaoh Zone 2D, take measurements, manipulate lines, add symbols and doors, create a report, and print to PDF. At this point, we've created a scan of a lunchroom bounded by hallways and crowded with appliances and lockers. We optimized the scan and exported it to a USB stick with the USB port shown here. Then we inserted the USB stick into our PC and opened Ferrozone 2D. We will show you how to manipulate the scan in Ferrozone 2D, but it can also be imported to Ferrozone 3D in the 2D mode. See our Ferrozone 3D video for information on changing your 2D scan into a 3D diagram. In Ferrozone 2D on the Home tab, click the Import command. Select the Import Scan Plan Project command and navigate to the USB stick and the SPL file. Open it. The project comes in as a set of layers. Type SA to select all and use the grips to orient the project as desired. Zoom in by rolling the mouse wheel. Adjust any annotations to the desired size and position. On the text tool panel, adjust height of text. Use the grips to move it. Notice the graphics markers. Double click to open the attached graphic in your system's default menu program. The scan comes into Ferrozone properly scaled to real world dimensions. We can add measurements to demonstrate this. Click the measure command. Click the start and end points, then laterally to place the dimension line. Adjust text size as desired. To measure an area, click the measure drop-down and select area. Click the boundary points of the area, as many as required. Then double-click or press escape to close the area. Change units of measure with the units command. This will impact all measurements in the diagram. Elements can be deleted by selecting them and pressing Delete on the keyboard. Click the Layers command to open the Layers tool panel. SPL files import in three layers. The map, or scan, the individual lines that lay over the map lines, and the items layer of notes, photos, and files. Layers can be hidden and locked. Locked layers cannot be moved or manipulated. To trace the map with a continuous line, Click the Draw Continuous Line command, and for ease of tracing, click the Cursor Line command. Click the starting point, and notice the red alignment bar that makes alignment a breeze. Notice also the snap system of symbols that indicate snap points. Complete the trace by double-clicking. If the tracing is not perfect, no problem. Zoom in and use the handles to move the lines into place. Repeat for any other lines as necessary. Try hiding the map and lines layers to check the tracing. Turn them back on and begin dropping features into the map where appropriate. For example, we have several doors and appliances to include. Navigate to the Powers Tool tab and click the Structure drop-down. Select Doors. Click to place the door. Move into position if necessary. To move the hinge to the other side, slide the Swap Hinge command. Notice you can swing the door with the grips. To repeat a command, press the space bar. Symbols can be placed by clicking the Symbols tab. Select your Symbols library and find the appropriate symbol. Select the symbol, click in the diagram to place it, and again to orient it. Use the grips to move, resize, or reorient it. Repeat for other symbols. To create a report, click the Power Tools tab and select the Forms command. Select a form and it will be dropped around the diagram. Click in each field and type new text in the tool panel. To print the report to a printer or PDF, click the print command on the quick toolbar. If the print preview looks good, click print and select a printer or click PDF to save a PDF to your computer. Click the save command on the quick toolbar to save the project in a .far format. In this video, 
you saw how to import an SPL file into Ferrozone 2D, take measurements, manipulate lines, add symbols and doors, create a report, and print to PDF.